Let's create a State of Mississippi virtual mesonet using Cloud, the mesonet management platform from WeatherStem. My Mississippi mesonet is going to have a single station in each of Mississippi's 82 counties. I'll start with this Excel spreadsheet that has a list of each county. The required headings for the Excel document are name and handle. A handle is sort of like a unique identifier for a mesonet station. I can identify the location of a station either by specifying its latitude and longitude or indicating a physical address. Any other fields in my spreadsheet are arbitrary and will be added to my mesonet as sortable metadata. In my spreadsheet, I've included the population of the county and the city where the station is located. I've saved this spreadsheet in a folder on my desktop called Mississippi in a file called Manifest. In that folder, I also have an icon as well as a tiny little configuration file that lets me specify the name of my mesonet as well as some other basic information like should it be publicly accessible. I've also created a little icon to represent each of my stations. I'm going to right click on this folder and choose Compress. It will create a zip file for me. Now, I'm going to log into WeatherStem Cloud at cloud.weatherstem.com. My username is Mississippi at weatherstem.com. I'll choose the My Mesonets link. And now I'll choose the up arrow, which indicates that I want to upload a mesonet. I'll navigate to the zip file I created earlier and upload it. Within seconds, I have my mesonet. I'll click the Go to Mesonet link, and here I am in my State of Mississippi virtual mesonet. In my mesonet, there are an infinite number of things I can do. As a small example, I'm going to chart current temperature, wind speed, and we'll add an air pollution value of sulfur dioxide concentration. I'll also view that alongside each county's population. Now I'll add proximity to the closest lightning activity. Now I'll map the values of current temperature on my mesonet map. Send me an email at ed at weatherstem.com and I'd be happy to set up a time to show you much, much more.